how to create a custom header in Shopify. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create your own custom header in Shopify. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to log on to your Shopify account. And from here, you're going to click on online store. And then you can use this code on any theme. I'm using it on taste, but a great thing about this code is that you can use it on Dawn as well. So if you're using the newer Dawn theme, which is very popular right now on Shopify, you can easily customize this one as well. But what you're going to do is whatever theme that you have, you're going to click on actions and then you're going to click on edit code. And once you click on edit code, you can click on search files over here. So once you search for header, you're going to find it in one of the sections. So in your section, you're going to find header.liquid so all you have to do is click on header.liquid so header.liquid is very very long so you're going to scroll down like uh, around halfway through and around line 500 and below you're going to find your little rendering sheet so yeah just over here you're going to find for my theme it's in line 524 what you're going to do is after you have this section like this render section you're just going to create some gap above it and then you're just going to paste this code over here so just paste this code and i will leave this code in the comment box down below now what is this code and how does it really customize your shopify header well it is a code that will actually just uh enable you to drag those top menu items like if i go onto my store over here you can see these menu items when i scroll down they disappear but what this does is, is that it scrolls it down alongside me so this is what this code basically does and once you've added it you can just click on save over here to have a sticky header and that is all you have to do to create like a sticky header now there are some situations where your header might not scroll down with you and that is in the case of people that are not using jquery so i have not installed jquery right now but if you want you can install jquery onto your phone or laptop and then you can customize it uh with jquery now with jquery uh they do allow you a lot more customization with your online store that is totally up to you but if you want to make simple and easy changes you can just make it through code but if your code is not working on your theme and if you're using the newest theme that is available on shopify then you might run into some issues with copy paste codes and for that jquery is a great application for you to use if you're having any difficulty otherwise you're going to be good with the basic theme editor now not only can you edit themes with these basic kind of headers but you can also add like on your product pages you can have those drop down menus as well and another great thing what you can do with these custom codes is that if you go into edit code over here and if you go into your sections you can create like a slide shows onto your Shopify account as well and the code for that is available on pastebin so all you have to do is go into theme.liquid and then you can enter the uh, code at the bottom over here and enter slideshows on the theme.liquid section of your Shopify code like those codes work for all themes and mostly new themes on Shopify will give you some errors but for any old running theme people have probably uploaded codes on pastebin or any other uh, code copying or pasting website now that is like the simple and easy tutorial on how to do this there are some other ways that you can customize your header as well so if you want to really make it your own you can click on customize over here and you can see this is like my basic header that i have over here uh, you can just click on your header and you can click on header over here you have background one accent one accent two so i can go like this and then you can select an image a logo image and I'm just going to use this as a logo image and I'm going to click on select. Now I am going to just keep this logo image and I'm going to customize the logo width. I'm going to make it like tiny. And now I'm going to like, if you want to customize it further, if you want your logo to be in the center, you can make it on the top left or at the top center like this or at the middle left like that is totally up to you now after that you can choose what kind of menu you want so you can see uh, the code that i added that is going to enable me to change this so if i want to change menu i can click on over here and if i want to add or create more menus i can create it from here so if i want a footer menu like so if i want a custom menu i can click on over here and create that as well now after the menu section you have your sticky header so header shows on the screen as the customers roll up if you want 
to enable that you can but if you don't you can also remove it so you can see like if i scroll down and scroll up this will automatically appear and this is another function of the code that we just added so now our sticky header is appearing as well and then you also have your show line separator if you want to separate your header from the rest of your page you have your bottom margins that you can set as well and then you have your specific theme settings that you can enable as well with your vertical offset for your uh, social media platforms as well in your header section now in your headers uh, you have like four basic things that you can uh, accent with or create the colors with but i would recommend that there are some codes where you can even change that as well if you want to although the shopify combinations are great to use you can still customize it however you like and you can really make it like your own with your header section now within your header section everything that is present you can just give it a click in the preview section to get it customized so like whatever is present in the header just click on it so if i click on the logo it's going to take me to the logo settings and i can customize my logo if i want to change this text or this button over here i can customize that as well from my header settings now, although Shopify is a great and simple and easy to use platform, it is not available for free. So Shopify is only going to provide you with a 14 day free trial and then you have to opt for a $29.79 or $299 version. The basic version allows you to add two staff members in four locations and you have to pay 2.5 transaction fees on all of your payment methods. Then you have your $79 per month Shopify plan with five locations and five staff members with only 1% transactional fees and the advanced shopify plan with only 0 0.0 percent transactional fees where you can add up to eight locations and 15 staff members now it's a simple and easy way to customize your headers and for most people just opt for the basic shopify and you're going to be able to do all of your customizations you're not going to need any of the premium features to customize your shopify layout and we are about to end this video and to end it on a good note i would like to request you guys that if you found this video helpful or if you found this method exactly what you wanted or what you were looking for consider subscribing to our youtube channel and sharing it with your friends and family who might learn a thing or two from this this video or learn a thing or two from the hundreds of videos that we have on our channel and of course if you have any questions any queries about anything in this video or with related to our entire channel or any of our videos make sure to leave a comment down below and ask us what you want from our videos i tried to cover everything i could in this video but if you want to see more details of the methods or the ways in this video just let me know in the comments down below and I'll be sure to make more videos on your suggestions. At the end of the day, it's all about providing you guys with valuable content that could help instill a positive change in your life and hopefully your friend and family's life as well. And at the end, I would like to request you to make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel as it helps out our videos a lot. And again, thank you so much for watching. Till next time, goodbye.